All the girls and boys made for their chairs, musical instruments waving in the air. And then, oh, the noise, the noise, 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 noise. They'll shriek, squeak, and squeal. They'll blow their trombones, they'll blow their saxophones and clarinets. But it's music to the ears of Park Avenue Elementary School band teacher, Hugh Middleton. One, two, ready, play. I wouldn't have taken the job had I not been able to start a band program here because that was what my goal was, is to do band. You said, well, uh, this is what I want to do. Are you in support of it? And I said, absolutely. I've been trying to do this for a couple of years already. Rest, rest good. We were trying to do it with the Barsby band teacher, Rester, and okay, to rest, see if we could maybe rest. borrow him for a block. And just scheduling, it was too difficult to do. I phoned around to all of the other elementary schools in the Barsby catchment, and there isn't a band program offered in the elementary schools for Barsby at this point in time. Band programs were one of the first to suffer in a string of budget cuts back in the 80s. The music coordinator position, which oversaw band programs in elementary schools, was eliminated in District 68. We have amazing band programs in high school, but unfortunately without those feeder schools bringing the students up, a lot of times when kids get to grade 8, they're too afraid to sign up for band because it's a new experience and they're not sure they'll like it. If we can bring that experience in the elementary school, then they're ready to go. This is special to me because there's a need here and it's really appreciated by all the people. I never really liked music before, so I just, so when this band program came, um, my mom had this clarinet and so I said, why don't I use it in the band program? And um, I'm really happy that I chose it because um, it gave me a way to express myself with music and, and I'm really happy and it's really fun. Determined to begin the music program this fall, Hugh sought donations from the community. They now have about 20 instruments in their possession and another 20 that have been borrowed or rented so that 45 kids who have never played before have the opportunity. A gentleman gave me a clarinet that was almost brand new and he said, you don't really want this, do you? And I said, you have no idea how much we want this. Um, we're accepting any kind of instrument other than things like pianos and organs. I chose the alto saxophone because it was a really cool instrument and it sounded pretty easy to play. I picked the trombone because I don't know, I've always seen people play it when I was younger and I just thought it would be a cool instrument to play. Park Avenue School is applying for a music grant to be able to continue the band program for years to come and will continue seeking donations of musical instruments. Hugh hopes with a lot of practice and a bit of extra funds, he'll be able to take a travel band on a trip one day. In Nanaimo, I'm Ned Lucas.